Hello ladies and gentlemen, Jim here and airlines around the world ground Boeing 737 MAX jets after second fatal crash in five months. Let's catch a few details here. Now the, the British aviation regulator on Tuesday grounded Boeing 737 MAX planes joining a growing list of countries and airlines from China to Mexico suspending the plane's operations after the second deadly crash of the popular aircraft in less than five months. Now, the UK Civil Aviation Authority has been closely monitoring the situation, however, as we do not currently have sufficient information from the flight data recorder we have as a precautionary measure issued instructions to stop any commercial passenger flights from any operator arriving, departing, or overflying UK airspace. Now, this move by the UK comes a day after uh, the Federal Aviation Administration said it did not see a reason yet to ground the best-selling Boeing jets in the U.S., um, and President Donald Trump has uh, chimed in on this, saying that airplanes are becoming far too complex to fly. Pilots are no longer needed, but rather computer scientists from MIT. I see it all the time in many products, always seeking to go one unnecessary step further, when often old and simpler is far better. Split-second decisions are... Well, there's much more in this, but man, I, I have to agree with him. Always seeking to go one unnecessary step further when often old and simpler is far better. You know, like an internet with spinning, flaming gifts and that kind of thing. No, seriously, I agree with him there. But uh, this is a situation that uh, I, if you are flying, be very aware of this. I'm sure you're not going to have the opportunity to get on a 737 MAX jet anytime soon until they figure out what the problem is with these new jets. I will leave you a link. There's much more on this. Please subscribe to my channel. Please hit the red bell icon uh, to be uh, notified of new content. And please, my friends, I appreciate you listening to me go on and on about this book. But please check out Home, a Wayfarer story available in Kindle and paperback. It is the end time. Times. Weird, strange things are happening, happening, technological things, spiritual things. Check this out. I'm not sure how fictional some of this really is, and there may be a bit of a love story woven in there, too. Um, not, it's not like me to write a story like that, but I did. A lot of events here. You will enjoy this. Check it out in Kindle and paperback, but most importantly of all, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you.